Good morning. Uh, we're going to talk about flowers you can plant and trust before May 24th in Vancouver. Can't speak for Ontario. They just got five centimeters of snow. But we're out of the woods for a lot of plants, and especially the biggest one is geraniums. In Vancouver, purchase a geranium as soon as you possibly can. The moment you see the first geranium for sale, buy it. And it will pay back dividends until November. Now this is a, uh, a large geranium already. I'm planting it, let's see, the 22nd of April. But I've put in many uh, smaller geraniums like this in this garden like a month ago, and they're doing great. They're happy. Um, now, uh, we're doing three big geraniums around this hoop, which just got gladiola bulbs. And so there will be a big stand of gladiolas coming through here, which we'll film later, and then surrounded by geraniums and, and also osteospermums, also known as African daisy. Now the African daisies, I think they'll be fine, but they're not quite as tough as the geraniums. Should be fine. Cross our fingers. Uh, another bulletproof plant that to plant early in the spring is uh, pansies. Um, they are tough. They can handle some cold weather. They like it actually and they'll get fuller and then keep blooming for the whole summer. Okay, uh, we have the Gerbera daisies, which I think they look a little sunburnt this week. They were definitely a brighter pink last week. Uh, we'll see what comes of them. They may just crash, I hope not, because uh, they were a little bit pricey. And then further back here, we've got some Lobelia, which we're planting along the front of this bed. Um, now the Lobelias should be fine as well. They're not as tough as the geraniums, but they're pretty good. Um, and uh, finally, we have a dahlia at the back, this outlandish dahlia, which um, you can plant any time in Vancouver. Dahlias are tough. Okay, so if you see a dahlia for sale early in the spring and it's covered in buds, get it. And uh, they're always inexpensive. Maybe you don't need one this outlandish, but you know, there's many, many different kinds of dahlias. All of them are tough. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over to another bed, and uh, here, I'll take that. Okay, a couple more bulletproof plants to plant in early spring. First one is here, this silver gray Dusty Miller. The Dusty Miller is an annual, but it survives the Vancouver winter. This one is two years old. But you can get them in little six packs early, like beginning of April. And they're very tough. They can handle all kinds of cold and they're happy. Um, and they just keep getting better. Another uh, early spring definite is either pronounced Aubrietta or Aubricia, I'm not sure. But this is a perennial that gets slowly bigger once it gets established. The problem is they are finicky and they often don't get established and so they become an annual but uh, they're great and they, they, you can only buy them at the beginning of the year. Um, well, there's this plant. Do you recognize it? It doesn't look like much right now, but it will be spectacular this summer. This is its third year. It's the common fuchsia. It'll have bright purple and red flowers all over it and be about double this size. And you can find them early in the season, and if you do, buy them because they are winter hardy in Vancouver. Not all of them, but I would say at least half. So you have to experiment till you find one that survives and thrives in your garden. Here's another fuchsia uh, growing in this garden. Um, also, down here there's a smaller one, and then finally two more, just waking up from a long winter sleep. And they were so pretty last summer, and they will be again this summer, they're doing great. So pick up fuchsia. And finally, let's not forget the king of all spring plants, or maybe the queen, because it is a girl's name is Daphne, and this Daphne is fantastic. 
right next to the stairs that go down to the pool and they smell so good but you can only buy them mid-April so go out right now buy yourself a Daphne Odoro Daphne Odoro is the best one it's got variegated leaves and smells like heaven all right until next time